I don't know about you, but I'm feeling a bit in tatters. What am I talking about? Well, let's jump into this together and I'll explain. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to talk about embossing on denim. Now, I had promised this from a prior video where I talked about cutting denim, so I wanted to move on with how do we emboss or how do we emboss a logo into the denim. Now, before we get into this, I want to explain something that's rather obvious, but we have to kind of keep this in mind as we talk about this. The laser works by burning things, and when you burn cotton, you actually burn the cotton away. So one of the big challenges, it's not like plastic or a plastic polymer where you sinter it and you change the surface of it. With cotton, you actually burn it away, and so you're wearing down the cotton. And this is going to be one of your big challenges in embossing on a denim. So with this guy, as you can see, it's a total burnout. It was 8 millimeters a second with one pass dithered at 150 dpi. This guy down here was at 20 millimeters a second, two passes, 150 dithered. This guy is 50 millimeters a second with one pass. Now, this actually came out pretty good. Now, I'll do an overlay of the image that I used up here. It's actually my logo. It's a mix of, of grayscale. And as you can see, for the larger 3D piece, it's uh, burned lighter, where in the center, it's burned the you know DIY3DTech.com, the URL, a bit darker. And as you can see here and down here, it's totally you know burned that completely through on these. So one of the things to keep in mind, the darker, the deeper the grayscale, the more it's going to burn, the lighter the grayscale, the less. Now, I actually think this came out pretty good. Now, I would not recommend this if you're thinking about saying you want to emboss or uh, somebody. Actually, I don't know what you would call this. It's actually the inverse of embossing. However, if you wanted to try to imprint, say, somebody's name on a denim shirt or a pair of pants, I probably would not do that because that is going to burn into the denim and it's going to to, you know uh, compromise the structure so for example if you did this onto somebody's pants or shirt as it pulled this will eventually pull apart now if you want to use this to make patches I think this actually works and you can probably dial this in a little bit more depending upon what you want to uh, sort of emboss. I'm going to call it embossing. I don't know what else really to call it. Uh, but if you want to emboss something else onto denim, you really have to think about two things. You know, what's my grayscale and what's my dithering pattern or dithering strategy? Now, Lightburn has a number of different strategies. I tried a couple for denim. I found, at least for me, with the G8 lens now, that, that dithering worked the best for me and for this type of object. Your mileage may vary, and if it does, let me know in the comments below. I did a number of these, as you can see, and I kind of wanted to share just the basic ones going from, you know, rather slow, faster, and fastest. And again, how it compromises the integrity of the fabric. Now, with this, I could have did probably a few more interesting things. All of these, I just had to cut out a square. Uh, however, again, if you wanted to do something like this and then sew it on to a jacket or a pair of pants or something like that, you could do that. It would work well or use a fabric glue uh, to attach it, which I have a link to some fabric glue down below. So you could do some cool things uh, from a crafting perspective, but I would not recommend this again for everyday clothes. This this will wear very fast if it's stretched. So hopefully you found this of value. If you did, hey, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget the subscribe button down there, and hopefully Swag Shop will be up there. And we'll catch you in the next video where we do something else cool with the laser 3D printing CNC, something in the shop. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.